How's it going YouTube, Dalton here. In this video, we're gonna revisit the question, should you learn web or mobile development in 2023? So it's a new year, <clears throat> so, and there's a lot of considerations that you might need to make, come that there's a new year and there's a lot that's gone on <clears throat> in the industry, right? So let's get right into it and let's discuss whether you should go into web or mobile development. So what are the similarities between the two? Let's start there. So the similarities between the two and the reason that it appeals to a lot of people is it's very like uh, it's very like a user interface. So you can see exactly the changes that are being made throughout the system. Now the difference between mobile and web development is web development is primarily done on a cross browser. So you don't need to take into account things like, you know, memory management and stuff like that. Whereas on the mobile platform, you do need to take those into account. Right? So those are kind of some of the differences between the two. Now let's talk about job outlook because obviously that's gonna be something that's really important to a lot of you. So right now, both are definitely in demand, but there are some, uh, there are some, uh, there are some differences between the two. So a lot of boot camps, a lot of, uh, a lot of these uh, coding boot camps and you know, courses and training programs all focus on web development, right? So because of this, there's a lot of competition when it comes to web development. So in order for you to actually stand out from the rest of the competition, what you need to do is you need to make sure that you are really good if you decide to go into web development. Whereas on the flip side, you know, when it comes to mobile, I see that there's not a lot of uh, jobs available inside of the industry, right? But they do tend to have less competition because not a lot of people are uh, actually pursuing mobile development, right? And that's kind of why I've been able to get success in mobile development, just because there's not a lot of competition and therefore I'm more likely to be seen and then experience is gonna be less important than it would be if you are doing web development. So here's the thing, as the years got as the years gone by and as I reflect on my journey, you know, I realize that, you know, when it comes to a really competitive industry, experience becomes really, really important, right? So that's why it's really hard if you're an entry level developer to actually get into your first job. Once you get into your first job, then it becomes easy because now you have experience and now you have a whole lot of jobs available to you, right? So now that we got that from a job uh, perspective out of the way, Let's talk a little bit about freelancing because that's another avenue that you could potentially take. So in terms of freelancing, I do think that web development is a lot more lucrative when it comes to freelancing because most your primary, uh, your primary customer base when it comes to freelancing, when you're starting out, is probably gonna be small business, right? There's a possibility that you're gonna go after corporate clients, but that's not really the case until you've built a solid portfolio for yourself and that you get referrals and stuff like that. So when it comes to small business in general, small businesses, the one thing that they tend to look for is a website. You can convince them very easily that a website's gonna help their business, right? And how is it gonna help their business, right? What most small businesses want at the end of the day is they want more customers. Right? It's very easy for you to convince them that more customers are going to come because of a better website, right? Whereas opposed to a mobile app, for example, where, you know, it might not be a viable option for the small business, right? If you have a local pizza shop or you have a little restaurant in the middle of a competitive city center, right? It's hard to convince them that they need a mobile app in order to you know process bookings or book pizza because they simply don't have the revenue to actually justify uh, you know building a mobile app right a mobile app's probably going to be more viable if like let's say you have a little bit more of a successful business such as a high end restaurant or a dentist uh, a dentist or a doctor's uh, app especially during covid for example but Another flip side is you have to understand sales a lot better in order to actually sell a mobile app. So even though, yes, you can get paid more as a mobile app developer, 
you know, web development can definitely get your uh, foot in the door a lot quicker when it comes to freelance. And this is gonna help you to build your experience and build your portfolio so that you can get your first full-time job, right? So I talked a little bit about jobs on a uh, low level. Now let's go deeper into that. What are the type of companies that you might be looking for if you decide to go for web development as opposed to mobile development? So when, you, when it comes to mobile development, you're more likely to go after the big companies, right? So the big companies are the top. You look on the app store and you see those big companies. Those are the ones you probably want to go after. And those are the ones that are more likely to hire uh, iOS or Android developers, right? So if your goal is to work at a big fan company or something like that, your time is better invested in learning mobile development if you want to go down that path, right? simply because of the fact that your average startup is not gonna have the capital or the free time or the free uh, capital investment from their venture capitalists to actually think about making a mobile app. Because here's the thing that you need to understand. Mobile apps are built for customer retention, whereas usually a web, web app or a website is gonna be built towards customer acquisition. So when you're doing, uh, when you're like a startup, your goal is to get a minimum viable product out the door and get customers in, right? So as a result, you're probably going to be better off making things like a mobile application or rather a website rather than a mobile application, right? So at the end of the day, the two, uh, the two between web and mobile applications is a matter of personal preference. I can't really make the choice for you, but in conclusion, if you want to work at a big tech company, if you want to get paid more, if you want to, uh, if you want to have less competition, and just want to get your foot in the door on a big company, go the mobile app route. Whereas, if you want to try your hand at freelancing, if you want to uh, have a challenge and go after something that's a little bit more competitive, then you should go after mobile or web development rather. So, if that video was helpful. Let me know in the comment section below. Give me a like as it really helps support the channel here. And I'll see you in the next video.